So Kishori Ji today will read. She will guide us <laughs> in proper direction. Yes. Guru Dev will guide all of you and I will read Ananta Das Babaji words to inspire all the beautiful Vaishnavas to share something. So today we are reading Vilapu Sumanjali verse 59. Will Rupa Manjari lead you on the path with Lalita and Vishaka on your two sides? your friends all around you, and me holding your brittle waist from behind. Will Rupa Manjari lead you on the path with Lalita and Vishaka on your two sides, your friends all around you, and me holding your brittle waist from behind. Explanations. In Smarana, dreams and in visions, Sri Raghunath feels the vicinity of Sri Radharani and experiences. Srimati's most coveted form, fragrance, touch, sound, and taste. Now, Radhe. Thank you. So we should stop here a little bit because uh, we can hear this beautiful circle, Smarana, dreams and visions, Smarana, dreams and visions, Smarana, dreams and visions, I like a perfect circle of someone who is deeply absorbed in prema, who is premika devotee. Sometimes Gurudev and Anantadas Babaji are putting first visions, then dreams, and then smarana. And they are explaining in two different ways. So when they say first smarana, dreams and visions, actually this is the secret behind this, is the devotee who is a sadaka still, not on the level of perfection, he is practicing smarana. And by practicing smarana, he is coming on the stage of deep meditation, deep smarana or dhyana, like we say. This helps him to come on another stage when the dreams are pervading also his existence. And this, when the dreams and smarana becoming more condensed, eagerness arising 
and becomes more intense in the devotee's heart then by the mercy by the kripa vision starts to appear so we can see here that we can make a difference between different stages of devotion of bhakti someone who is on the sadaka way on sadhana he is on the stage of smarana when his attachment mature becomes more intense ashakti he comes on the stage of bhav and these dreams are very intense on this stage because devotee can clearly see his spiritual identity and he can clearly see his beloved ishtadev then the third stage is direct vision which is the result of kripa but devotee is coming on the stage of prem Radhe Radhe, may I ask something? Yes, my dear. Ah, that's very interesting. Thank you. Uh, this dreams. Uh, these dreams are these the not the dreams at night only, right? Is that right? No, I don't think so. I think that these dreams are actually when we are sleeping we can sleep during the night or we can sleep during the afternoon but the point is that during the sleep person ordinary person or ordinary devotee is not so much conscious and during the sleep the senses or mind are guiding him in different directions and universes because ego is little bit calm ego is resting so mind is free to go wherever he wants but in the case of devotee who has attachment he is attached in the awake state when he is practicing smarana and he is attached with radhika or ishtadev even in a dreams why because attachments modeling his consciousness like for example someone who is attached to his kids even when he is sleeping very often he has the dreams about his kids many of us have a dreams about gurudev because with our senses and mind with this body we have direct perception of his presence and if disciple love his guru normally that attachment appears because of attachment very often this kind of disciple has a dreams about gurudev and these dreams are not ordinary dreams because the person to whom he is dreaming is not the ordinary person but he has to have the faith in that but when these dreams when the stage of ashakti becomes more more condensed thick like guru dev said thick attachment arising and brings devotee to the extraordinary feelings intense feelings which we call bhava in that moment he sees everywhere his beloved he sees there is no difference between 
dreams in the wake state because he always hankering, crying, rolling, and praying to his beloved. So this stage, Smaran dreams are the state we can say up to the stage of Baba. But on the stage of Prema, devotee has a direct visions. Sometimes on the Baba they have a short these glimpses. Spurtists, with spurtis. But on the stage of Prema, he has direct realizations. Why I'm talking about this? Because there is a difference. On the stage of Baba, intense emotions, spiritual emotions, we are speaking about spiritual emotions. Uh, devotees see his Farup and Ishtadev. But on the stage of Prema, he is directly present and engaged in Lila. So this is the reason why sometimes Baba and our Guru Dev is emphasizing first Smarana, then dreams, and then by mercy, vision will come. But someone who is already on the stage, like Raghunath, is here. He is focused on direct visions, first visions, but when these visions disappear, he is praying at least to be on the level of dreams because he doesn't want to be unconscious in one second. And then, if I cannot dream you, my dear Radhika or beloved Ishtadev, at least I pray that I have meditation with my mind, conscious meditation. And even when I cannot have a smarana, I am praying that at least I can aspire for that. <laughs> so this is the way which is, it reminds me on a perfect, beautiful transcendental circle. And it depends in which position devotee is in that circle. If he is on the position of smarana, he is slowly, slowly going to dreams and visions. And from the visions, he is asking for dreams or smaranas or aspiration for smarana. And last time, as we all remember, Gurudev was emphasizing very much pointing out that we have to have desire for direct visions, direct, direct meeting. And Baba is saying here, Raghunath is that example because he wants to feel with all his senses. He wants to feel Shimata Radharani. All senses, sense of touch, sense of smell, sense of sound, taste. He wants to be completely immersed in this beautiful visions. Because he is on the prema level, actually he is on the Mahabhav. But this prema level brings him in the direct lila. And when the lila finishes, he is coming on the stage of sadhana or bhava sadhana bhakti. But he never forgets, as we know, his identity because he has direct realization of his identity and direct realization of Swarup of his beloved Radhika. So this is the circle, which is going always around, around. It's like a mysterious circle and brings devotee in a different levels. But when devotee 
is finished. When he is leaving this body, he transfers himself completely in Siddha Dek, in Lila, and he is living forever there. And there is no present of materialistic body, material body. But if the body is here, he is using for smarana, dreams, praying for visions. So that's the, I try to explain more simple, but maybe someone can explain <laughs> in more simple way than I did it. But we should understand what is the point. Gurudev chose this verse, sorry. He likes, and we in the last moment we changed. Kishori knows that. <laughs> so he wants that we understand actually, as I understood him, <laughs> what is really Prema Tattva and what we are practicing. Because if we don't know what we are practicing, what is the goal of our life, then it's very difficult to practice and to attain that goal. And Kishoriji will continue later on. And she will read what Ananta Das Babaji is emphasizing about Prem. But I gave just this small introduction that we understand the difference between prema bhakti in a practical sadhaka way and sadhana bhakti or bhava bhakti, which has the symptoms in the smarana, in the dreams, and ultimately in the visions, which are longer. In Bhava, they appear, Oof. but on the premical level, they are a little bit longer. This is the reason why we call it Samadhi. But Gurudev wants that we understand what is really Prema, what is pure Bhakti, and what is not a pure Bhakti, what is Keval Bhakti. Sorry, Sunitiji, I, uh, I did it as much as I can. Someone has add. Oh, Guru, I you say oh, sorry, it's amazing. And I, I uh, want to ask, uh, I mean, uh, thank you, say thank you and um, Dandavats and, you know, Really, I feel touched that Gurudev is ch choosing this verse for us because it shows to me that he really feels for our advancement. And um, whenever I feel this, I get somehow emotional. <laughs> uh, it is uh, important to feel that the teacher is interested in my development. And often, I don't know where I am. It's so difficult sometimes to access my own position. But when Gurudev gives these verses to us, I feel um, uh, encouraged. And I feel also so proud of you, my dear Goranga and Ramani, that you are doing it, no? It's great, because even to be used as a tool in this, you know, explanation, and you have to go deep, and you, I know, I'm sure you did a lot of investigation, and, you know, inside of yourself, where is my sadhana, where is my feelings, and of course, going deep in the books of Baba, and this is so helpful, and I'm very, very thankful for this, and I feel very um, touched and inspired. Because often in my uh, 
sadhana, I get stuck in like a hamster's roll. I feel it's the doing the same. Maybe I don't feel so much more than I used to feel before, or you know, like kind of like repetition. But Gurudev uh, always encourages us to go deeper, to make more realizations, and to have a faith that it is possible. <coughs> so, yeah, wonderful. Thank you. In Smarana, dreams and in visions, Sri Raghunath feels the vicinity of Sri Radharani and experiences Srimati's most coveted form, fragrance, touch, sound, and taste. Now he sees Swamini going to Nandishvara to cook for her beloved Krishna. How vivid is the experience of the perfected souls? Sita Krishna Das Babaji of Govardhan has written, O Queen of my heart, as Kundalata holds your hand and you walk along with Lalita and other Sakis, I will follow you with a pitcher of water. Kundalata asks you so many rasika, playful questions, and you happily converse with your girlfriends. Your hairs will stand on end, and your gait will falter as you experience the bliss of Krishna Consciousness. It's great ecstasy. Swamini goes to Mohan to make him happy with her service. The nature of Prema is that it just wants to make Krishna happy. Radhe, please, we can stop here. Why Baba is mentioning the vision of Krishna Das Babaji from Gordon here about this wonderful scene? how Radhika with full passion and eagerness is running on Andishwar. Because he wants to give us clear picture about personality of Shimata Radharani, who is eager, who is burning from the eagerness to come in Andishwar, to cook for the pleasure of the Krishna. So Baba is giving very expertly. First, he is giving scene. And now he will start to explain tattva behind this lila. So he is establishing first 
Raghunath and his premika position and how he feels, how he meditates, how he prays to Radharani and how vision appears. Then, you, we, we have to be very careful when we are reading, you know, because it's not just improvisation. When Premika devotees are writing, it's not improvisation, actually. Then he is putting the scene of vision of other devotee, who is also in Manjari Bhav. Because in that scene, but also in the words of Raguna directly, is very clearly written and explained how Radhika is burning in desire to satisfy Krishna to cook for him. So we have to stop here and to feel it. Don't rush. What's going on? What's happened next? <laughs> or what's that, that, that? No, just feel this. And this is bhajan. Feeling this partial detail of lila for me is a bhajan. And this is sadhana. And now we all together here in Zoom, we have a chance to practice bhajan. Sadhana. We are doing now, we are doing shravana, drinking with the ears, trying to talk something, following the words of Acharyas. And the most important thing, we are trying to bring these words in our consciousness, in our mind and heart. So Baba is giving here the scene. And now he is starting to explain who is embodiment of prema and how prema works. And what does it mean, prema? Because he wants to make and to help us to make a clear understanding what is the difference between pure devotional service and other kinds of mixed devotional service. But he's expertly is establishing what is the prema. This is your goal. The nature of prema is that it just wants to make Krishna happy. Sri Jiva Goswami has described three grounds to prema. First, the soul of Priti is the desire to make Krishna happy or to be favorable to his happiness. So this is the first point. We will go through all passage and then again come back. Second, the arising of different desires in the lover for the sake of Krishna's happiness. And third, when Krishna is happy, the lover is happy. The first of these is the constitutional hallmark Swarup Lakshana of Prema. And the other two are the marginal 
hallmarks tathashta lakshana the extraordinary constitutional position of prema is the exclusive aim to make its object shri krishna happy the desires arise in the heart of the loving devotee to make krishna happy with different devotional services that please him and that help the devotee to attain him the awareness that krishna is happy gives the devotee boundless bliss although he does not have his desires for personal happiness fulfilled i have a question here also if i may uh because i think uh the same is for us because we want to make shrimati radhika happy you know our ishta devi is shrimati radhika so we want we have the desire to make her happy and she has the desire to make krishna happy so this is interconnected of course but uh, yeah it's uh, our position as a aspiring dasi but yes, it's explained yeah. it's explained here from a general point of view to make krishna happy right for one who maybe has no contact with the swarup or has not been given you know a relationship from their gurus and whatsoever right yeah you are right but it this is for devotee who already established himself in his constitutional position in his tai bab baba is giving explanation here for general like you said and like guru they said first understand what is prema prema tatva and then assign when you assign then choose your devata your ishta dev and from that angle then later on you continue to listen through this filter so this is very nice when you mention that actually that for manjaris actually they always hear radhika happens but we should understand that we have to be more fixed in our stay bhav and we have to more understand who is krishna is because we have to, and baba is giving this example from the point of krishna and someone who has a stay bhav naturally he will hear the name of his beloved ishtadev so maybe we can repeat again baba is giving here three grounds three bases explaining what is the prema So first base is please Kishori ji yes yes first the soul of priti prema is the desire to make krishna happy soul of priti what is soul of priti yeah priti means is developing Priti, Priti means love. Soul has a body, and that she is in love with her is today. 
that is so lovely. So, when the soul is in the preeti, in the loving state, means, see, we cannot love without form. This soul has a form, and that is in love with our wisdom. So is in the preeti. One can say the soul has a body that is our constitutional position, and soul has a but this body has also soul. Body cannot be without soul. So my soul has a body, and this body. It is from the soul. That is my constitutional position, my mind And she is in the pretty love with her yesterday. And that soul is Radhika. Yeah. Oh, yes. The soul of Priti is the desire. Soul of the, soul of the Priti means the Sarup soul is, a, is in love with the Sarup, is the, is the soul of Priti. Yeah. Is the desire to make Krishna happy or to be favorable to his happiness. She is the desire to be loved. So, Guru, there the natural position of the soul yeah. is to make. Uh, happy, pretty, always in love yeah. with soul. And this soul is Radhika. Yeah. What she is doing in love is in watching. Soul of pretty. So the essence of Radhika's existence. Yeah. Her soul of soul. Yeah, soul of soul. In the is form. In the form. Because how to give the pleasure to Krishna without yeah. the form? It's not possible. Yeah. yeah. But the essence of Radhika's existence. So her soul of the soul. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. And this is the definition of Prema, actually, because Radhika is Prema Mai. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the basic and most important thing which explains what is a pure devotional service. And Radhika is embodiment of this pure devotional yeah. service. She is embodiment of pure love. Automatically, she is the embodiment of pure devotional service. <coughs> so, we should establish this in our heart, in our consciousness. And pretty is there. Full of pretty. Sweet love. 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 Yes. This is the main desire of Srimati Radharani. And this Baba is the main of Mangari to be always in pity with her. Yes. And she is watching my soul in my Sarupa ways is in love with this. And we can see that behind this pretty, 
is desire, or we can say behind this desire is a pretty. <laughs> it's not independent desire. Behind desire to make Radhika happy, or Radhika wants, has desire to make Krishna happy, yeah. is a pretty, pure love. Yeah. So desire is the most <laughs> important yeah. substance. Yeah. But it comes because of pretty. Right. <laughs> hmm. uh, pretty means love. Pretty means loving. Always 24 7 in loving action. <laughs> the soul of Priti is the desire to make Krishna happy or to be favorable to his happiness. Second point the arising of different desires in the lover for the sake of Krishna's happiness. Again, we have a desires. Please hmm. go with that. Soul has desires, but they are focused on one point. To make Radhika happy, in Manjari case, and all desires which appears how to make Radhika happy. They're simultaneously arising. But we also have here desires. We cannot, soul cannot escape from desire. And one thing, she not escaped from her living to the hardest day. Yes. Yeah. The soul has the, if the form, the form will only exist when there is a soul is there. And this soul is Radhika. <coughs> but it can exist without soul. So this way, Mandri cannot exist without Radhika. She cannot see without Radhika. Radhika is the soul of the soul for Manjaris. Yes. This is That's the oneness in the heart. And the third point, when Krishna is happy, the lover is happy. This is the answer to the question, how to make Radhika happy. <laughs> So this is the normal position, actually, for the soul to strive in his spiritual identity, here is spiritual swarup, to strive, to hanker, to make beloved Ishtadev happy. And when the Ishtadev is happy, when Radhika is happy, Automatically, all Manjaris are happy, although they didn't desire their own happiness. <laughs> they don't need own happiness because their soul or the soul is happy. So automatically, <laughs> Manjaris are happy. They don't have to put extra endeavor for their own happiness. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. This is their constitutional position. Constitutional position of Prema is to make a Krishna happy, but constitutional position of Manjaris and their Prema is to make Radhika happy. Yeah. And when she is happy, they are happy. When they, she is not happy, they are voluntarily, simultaneously accept sh her unhappiness, her sadness. <laughs> and they relishing this. Uh, Kishoriji, you can continue if Gurudev or someone doesn't want to add something. Now Baba is trying to give, <coughs> very carefully listen, explanation of this tree grounds in his simple way. The first of these is the constitutional hallmark yeah, this, this is the base to move on. Hallmark is a real mark. What Sumiti said, this is my whole mark. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Baba is saying the first of these. What is the first? Come again. The first Back. of these uh, is the soul of Priti is the desire to make Krishna happy or to this be is the first. to his happiness. This is the first. And this is constitution hallmark or he's saying Swaruplakshan or this characteristic, primary characteristic. We need primary characteristic that other characteristic can go around without primary hallmark. Everything is useless. But if we have essence, soul of Priti, essence, then this is for Ruplakshan, it is intrinsic, it, this is a primary thing. Yes, yes, very good. And I, I want to just uh, express my understanding, feeling that comes, because Gurudev said the constitutional hallmark is that starting from my relationship, which is I want to be a Dasi of Srimati Radhika, that is my foundation of Prema Tattva, so to say. And then from that foundation, all sevas, all meditations, all prayers, all sadhana is uh, developed to make her happy. And therefore, this is the called the Svarup Lakshana. It's the most important form or starting point from my form, from my relationship. Svarup Lakshana. Without Swarup, it's not possible. <laughs> Very nice. This Very is nice. why Gurudev is pointing and pointing, and he will point him forever that we have to be fixed in our Swarup. Because without our Swarup, we cannot make relationship, direct relationship. We cannot even dream about Radhika's Swarup. And I'm very proud this point to discuss and to meditate is so important that in this way we develop our nista, firm faith, a high bow. And this bow has to be very high or all the time we have to be there. 
So this is the greatness of our Zoom classes that we can practice to be in a sky at the time of listening, crystal clear understanding more come to us. That we can create a sky now inside us. Many places you will see Krishna mentioned that Krishna is Kling is not Krishna only. Kling means 24 and a half. And we have to understand that Kling means Krishna, Radha, 12 and 12 and a half is Manjiri, who is in the service of Radha. This is for Raja Bhakti. Everything will move with the cling. This is the seed. It, without this seed, we will move move. If we do the cling Krishna only, then we, we move only with Krishna. When Krishna is there, it's cling. That cling is with Radha and Manjiri. This meditation has to be very fixed in our seed form. <coughs> we, we, we can repeat that, Goranga Sundara, what you have heard now, because it's a deep point, important point of good. Yeah, because so, we can. Uh, uh, please, Jayanandaji, I, I didn't hear you. Please. Okay. Uh, I want a little explain. I don't know. It's last time we met Mahanidi Gop, uh, Madana Gopal Baba. At that time, I'm asking, could you explain clean mean, meaning clean? And at that time, he said, no. And then, because this is a little bit public place, also, you are not my disciple. And he said, each guru has a different baba and different feeling or different meaning about Kurin. So then, you know, I start meditating and thinking because each guru has a different baba. Some guru may have Sanchari Baba, you know, like Saki Baba. So some, some Guru Dev is, is Manjari Baba, or maybe some Guru is Gopi Baba. So this Guru Dev is, is expressing this point. Kuring is not only Krishna. Krishna and Radha and Manjari. This is actually very important to fix ourselves in Manjari Baba. Because everything comes from mantra or Gayatri. But the problem is what kind of goal we should have, what kind of desire we should have, it depends on that. So everybody chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra or every, you know, many initiate devotee chanting Gayatri Mantra or Kama Gayatri. No, no, a Kama Gayatri or a Gopal Mantra. But, but he was saying, Madana Gopal Baba saying, we have to, first we have to be Sankarpa. Sankarpa means what is his goal? What is your bar? What do you want to become? So Guru Dev is saying, so my goal, my goal is Manjari Baba. So I will explain as Manjari Baba clean the meaning. So please, please remember, clean means Krishna and Radha and Manjari. This Guru Dev explained 12 and 12 and half. Also Guru Dev explained same thing, even Hare Krishna Maha Mantra also same meaning. Ariksha Mantra also including Krishna and Radha and Manjari. 
So if you could meditate 24-7, then we can attain Manjari Baba. And yet also, I want to mention a little bit. One, yesterday, Gora Chandra Babu explained very nicely. So our depression comes from negative thought. 95% meditate negative thought. Actually, in the daytime, ordinary people is thinking, meditating only negative thought. 95% of our thought is negative. In other words, almost materialistic person's thought is material or negative. But uh, our sadhana is try to meditate spiritual, especially Radha Mohan's Lila in Manjari Baba. So, and then today, today's Russian class, I was asking Guru Dev uh, a blessing for all. Then he said, he said, share more and more. That is his blessing. <laughs> Why is that? If we sharing, then automatically we hear. Then we can automatically our meditation and thinking in, is become Radha. Or Mohan, Radha's Mohan and Manjari. And he's saying, and also he's saying in this, this, uh, Roshan class, very important thing. Uh, he said, someone who is Krishna consciousness, no, actually someone who knows Krishna Tattva, that person become guru. J Krishna Tattva better say guru. Then, then he explanation very nice. Ja, who, who, ja, what is Krishna Tattva? Someone who, no, someone teach how to take shelter of Radhika. Someone who knows how to take shelter of Radhika. That person knows Krishna Tattva. So Gurudev today is an ocean class. Very amazing. So I want to just add Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe, Jayananda. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. But then I have, then I have a question about Shring. When Kling already is complete with Radha, Krishna and Manjari, then what is the meaning of Shring in other mantra? So then maybe Gurudev better to answer, you know? Yeah. So anyone. <laughs> I have some idea about that, you know, Guru Dev. Yes, yeah. yeah, Guru Dev is busy, so we have to try and then he can uh, okay. confirm or correct. So, Goranga Sundaraji, could you have yeah. any idea? Oh, Guru Dev. Well, yeah, we are planning what to eat today, last day of. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Big program. Wow. My God. Wow, oh, it's Radharani's Prashadam only. Yes. <laughs> not good, they will not get it. And uh, you, you are missing my God. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I call personally that is here. What is the meaning of shrim? Na Gurudev. Yeah. Are you with us, Gurudev? Yes, yeah. shrim. Because Yes. Yeah. I'm listening now. Garam garam garam. Again, Gora Chandra. Down right. Can you explain this, please? I already spoke too much. <laughs> you have too much to share. You are full of love. Yes, good. If that uh, question was, if Klim is, you know. This 24 and a half Radha Krishna and the Mandaris, what is shrimp in our 
in our uh, Gayatri mantras. What I feel for myself in my meditation, and I have no big realizations, honestly, I feel that Shimati Radhika's Bija mantra is connecting me with my Swarup to her. That is the meaning of Shrim in that case. And if I meditate Klim, for example, in Kama Gayatri, then I feel it's Radha and Mohan together, and how can I serve them? In their Ananga, in their meeting. What does Swamini want from me? Can she give me any sidelong glance, or do I have to look at my, probably, my Guru Manjari? Like this is my meditation, and I feel the shrimp is Srimati Radhika in her in the service that I would like to offer to her and how I would like to realize my relationship to her. And I remember that how Gurudev explained also Chaitanya Mantra like this. It is Shrim Klim Gorangaya Svaha. So actually we have Srimati Radhika and we have Radha and Krishna together. So it's two times Radhika, one time Krishna. That's the sandwich that Gurudev always yeah. mercifully explained to us. The sandwich that Srimati Radhika is coming in two powerful forms in form of her, uh, you know, effulgence, her, 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 her color, and in form of her emotions, her feelings that Krishna wants to experience the greatness of her love. <coughs> But I'm just any, you know, I don't know much. Maybe you can uh, share more on this because you have more realizations. Please, Jayanandaji. Gaurang Sundaraji, could you share? No, no, please, please, Jayanandaji. I already talked so much. <clears throat> no, 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 no. We want to hear your realization, actually. So, uh, recently, I was reading with Gurudev together in Madura Kadambini. At that time, we are reading, uh, at first, Bajana Kuriya, and then, uh, Ruchi and uh, Baba. And Prema now also we are reading. So uh, at that time he was saying, Krishna is not alone, Radha and Manjari. So three explain. Then he said, Radha is Radha. And uh, Hareksha Mantra is, is Rama Rama Hare Hare is calling Manjari. Like my understanding, like Rama is like a together, Radha Mohan. And Hare Hare, they kind of try to steal the heart of Manjari, come. And so, and my understanding shooting is very similar with Suniti. Because Radha actually alone, but I think Radha is not alone. Always Manjari is there. Whenever Radhika go, Manjari is like shadow. So Manjari has to follow her. Because Radhika alone, he cannot do, she cannot do. She needs always help of Manjari. So therefore, Shurin is actually Radhika, but a shadow is Manjari. So Suniti Didi explained that I also feeling same thing. Actually, Radhika Mantra, but shadow is us and me. So what can I service? What can I do? And so what, any situation, it depends on leader. Any leader, so like I say, go to Nandagaon and cooking. They at that time also need Manjari's help. Many help she need. 
because Radhika want to meet. Last time, uh, uh, Goranga Sundaraji say, actually Nandagan also one kunja there. It's called, uh, I think, Giri kunja or something. So actually in this secret place there, so that is also need Manjari's help because always senior is there. Always Krishna also want to watch Radhika. Also Radhika want to watch. At that time Manjari said, hey Radhika, please come here. I can show you where Krishna is, you know, Krishna is doing, Krishna, you know, doing. So Manjari guide Swamini to, to a place to see, you know, like uh, not to other people knowingly. So anyway, so that's also my understanding also Sunit is very similar. Whenever Radhika is there, Manjari is like shadow. That is my, my feeling. Rade, rade. And you go, Ranga, don't hide. I don't know anything. I really, I don't have realizations. Oh, actually, you know, so, Gora Chandra, he knows, you know, but he's hiding sometimes, Gora Chandra. And please, well. please, you know, reveal your feeling. I feel same, like Suniti also, Jayananda. Yeah. Always in all the mantras, we have a starting as cling. So it's like fixing our mood, fixing our goal. That's what Gurudev always teaching that is the foundation of everything what you want to become like Oranga Sunda already explained today and that is expressed in cling always Radha and Krishna and I am their dasi cling always and in the mantras we uh, ask everyone for help to get to that goal. And then Gora Mantra, basically we understand that Mahaprabhu, he is a combined form of Radha and Krishna. So some they see in him more Krishna, some they see in him Radha and Krishna combined somehow, and we focus more on seeing Mahaprabhu in the mood of Radharani. So the Shring describing that focus on Mahaprabhu being Radharani, inside <laughs> and outside Radharani. So my goal is cling Radha and Krishna as a Manjari, but I focus more on Radharani. Radharani is my Ishtadi. Shring, cling, shring, Gorangai. That is my little realization. Maybe I can add a little bit. Just small spice in your beautiful sharings. And this is 
श्रीम इस स्वरूप शक्ति इट इज इथर्नल एनर्जी ऑफ कृष्णा And like Suniti said, this is the Bij mantra also of Shri Mata Radharani. And through this chanting, we want to establish relationship with Shri Mata Radhika like her does this. And for that, we need the help. And this help is present in another Bij. Ram, Shreem, Ram, Radhika. Why this is also beige? Because this is an Anga Manjari. So we, through Shreem, we need connection and establish relationship with Radhika, but we cannot do it alone. We need her. Radha Priya Saki. And Ram, Shrim Ram Radhika Yaiswaha, I am offering you to my Radharani to accept me like her beauty, Manjari, maid servant. But I need the help. And I'm praying to Ram. meditating that actually this is the bij mantra of ananga manjar i heard that from gurudev and from that moment i'm trying but it doesn't work in my case but at least i'm trying so other shrims which we have in lalita mantra in ananga manjari mantra and rupa manjari mantra is actually exp expanding of this help we want to make relationship with radhika so we are approaching lalita and need we need her blessings because she is Radha Priya Saki. And she is very close to Radhika. And she can recommend us to her. Then through other Shrim, we need connection with Shimati Radhika, chanting this bead Shrim, praying to Ananga Manjari directly to make us maidservants, not Sakis. Made so, and not sancharis, because Beauty. sometimes uh, anga manjari sometimes is a sakhi, sometimes a manjari. <coughs> we have a goal. Then Shrim again in the last of Vrindavan mantras. I pray to this Hladini Shakti. which has the form of radharani to make me her maid servant by directing myself to rupa manjari because she is the most closest kinkari of shimati radharani and through her I hope that one day I will establish this Shrim beach through my relationship through Radha Priya Saki finally to sh with Shimati Radhika. Oh. So the key point is like Gorachand is very nicely said actually is also and ask this If we want to establish relationship with Yugalaki shore Klim is the beach 
and it helps to the tree of our desires, like Acharyas are saying, giving the fruits. What does it mean to giving the fruits? That we become Manjari in the service of Yugala Kishore. Klim. But before I need to establish myself, Raika Radhika's maidservant, and this is starting from the beach moment, seed moment, Shrim. And this seed should develop and grow, grow, and give the fruit through her maidservants. Finally, Dasu Anu, and make me Radha Dasi Anil Dasi Anil Dasi Anil Dasi. So that's somehow I share with you, but I really don't have any, nothing, no have any realization about that. Please forgive me that I'm speaking something for what I'm not empowered to do. I don't have, but let's say. <laughs> Garanga. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. Your, 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 your heart, you're melting heart by your words. Wow. I never come in the picture only to listen to you and um, come to the picture. Oh, yes. You see, check other Jew uh, classes. Wow. I'm listening. But come to your class to listen to you. Yeah. Gurudev, I'm sorry, devotees, that you have to listen to this. <laughs> I apologize. But uh I'm not me. speaking true. You inspired me very, very much. And your words of praise is like I will take like a chastisement. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> because you are boring me how much my you, ego is so strong. You no, know, yeah, ego is not happening. Rasik has no ego. God is Sarup, how ego will come to you? Re, uh, explain. <laughs> I, I can explain about my ego, you know, Guru Dev 24-7. But I don't know anything about Rasik. Subject is only half hour left, please. Fifteen. Go on. The subject is very deep. Ah yeah? uh, yes. Please, Kishori J, continue and save phone yeah. so. Read Kishori. The first of these is the constitutional hallmark, Swarup Lakshana of Prema. Uh, Oh, and so the this other constitutional whole mark, whole mark, man? explain the word. What is the meaning of whole mark? Cornerstone. Cornerstone. Hmm? Huh? I know the one like who the sets the. Yeah, I know. Like a whole mark is a main characteristic which is yeah. actually inner characteristic it must be inner not outside yeah. and this is the reason why it calls swarup lakshana inner characteristic of prema is to make krishna happy then other two characteristics are coming and they are called external characteristics which are tashtasha but mm. this is the whole mark. Something like a Staiva or something. A Staiva. Yeah. It's nature. A Baba. Whole mark is Sarup Lakshana. We identify physical Sarup Lakshana. So that way we suffer. When we our choose Sarup Lakshana. Soul sarup by the body, soul and body, and this soul 
body has a soul also to live and that is soul is radhika hmm. is spiritual soul body is radhika. understand i have a body his soul is there than body exists so this soul what is spiritual soul i have is also has a body hmm. Hmm. that is sarup lakshana soul my soul has a body so what i am existing in material body consciousness this is temporary my real or whole my living place is my soul so like living than body exists the soul has a body this body is my consciousness or mind that is a reality so the whole mind this is the what is ha huh? soul is the constitutional hallmark whole mind man main thing of sarup lakshana sarup lakshana sarup lakshana is that the detail sanskrit and not but whole mind is very clear na no? that is the main thing hmm. to know and this so so uh, whole mark of my soul body has also soul mm. if the soul is not there then this body will not exist understand mm. the soul is not there the body will not exist body will not exist so who is soul radhika is soul of this spiritual body whole mark mm. so we say we are the shadow of her because we are the whole mark my whole mark exists when my soul is there is radha i think here the example of the mother and the baby is fitting the baby <laughs> that is growing in the in the warm of the mother connected by the mm, navishnur navel umbilical cord it's, nour- it's nourished our swarup is growing by being nourished to the origin of the prema of radhika connected to that and uh, our Swarup is completed when our love for Radharani is perfected. Then we are the baby with our form perfected. Swarup, without being nourished from the soul that Radharani is, our Swarup will not grow, and we cannot. being perfectly connected in love with radharani we cannot become her baby we will stay always small when we not grow then we are grown up in material consciousness so we have no idea of spiritual all mark reality of me mm. so that is suffering that suffering is because we make our whole mark to the material body so false ego catch this and what is wrong and right we cannot assess mm. we have to know the real whole mark of mm. But this body exists because of the soul, right or not? Mm-hmm. So my real whole mark is the soul, and soul has a body. That is a spiritual body, mm-hmm. and this body has a soul. That is Radhika. Constitutional hallmark of prema. That is the hallmark of the prema. 
then we start loving. We are in the form. We are not light or Brahma and spark. Mm. We are in, in a form. As the Radha Dasi, Oh. And the Krishna, ex- Krishna means Radha Krishna. Is a cling. Krishna never alone, and Radha never alone because of the constitutional position. If I fix my constitutional position, she never leaves us because. Gaurachandra said, we are the baby of her. So our whole mark has to fix. <clears throat> that is the reality of me. Hallmark Gurudev is a marked maidservant. In which mark? It's the, the writing of Krishna on her feet that has all marked us. She marked us. Love will be always there inside. Wow. This is a beauty. Wow, beautiful selection, Gishori. Ah, Gurudev. <laughs> so many are going to be benefited with this life. Wow, go on. The extraordinary. Gauranga Sundar said, we have to meditate this. That is the beauty of the. Zoom classes to realize ourselves, go deep and share it, that it become your subject. Make in your day 24 7 in your practice. (coughs) What is my whole mark? Who I am. Wow. First, what what is line? Pretty. The soul of pretty is the desire. Pretty. What is meaning of pretty? Always loving is pretty. Our soul is in form. Is not a, a, a light who is always in the form to love. That is the meaning of pretty. The soul of pretty is the desire to make Krishna happy. Uh, soul of pretty. Pretty means the nature of love. Is only desire to make. Because the the Radhika desire is this, and uh, my whole mark desire to make happy to her. Hmm. Hmm. This is the constitutional hallmark of Prema. Wow. Mm -hmm. You are appointed. Reader now. <laughs> Everybody will like to that you read for everyone. Amazing. When these things will be clear in our life, we will always in the Leela Smaran. Wow. Why we will think for material suffering? Wow. 
the extraordinary constitutional position of Prema is the exclusive aim to make its object, Sri Krishna, happy. Wow. Again. The extraordinary constitutional position of Prema is the exclusive aim to make its object, Sri Krishna, happy. What is the constitutional position of Prema? Yeah. Radhika. She wants to make happy to his lover. The object is Krishna. Krishna. <laughs> and uh, soul, my soul, want to do this with her, pretty. This is the meaning of your pretty word. Yeah. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> What is the meaning of Niti? To live in this consciousness. <clears throat> Niti means in the positiveness. Never think negative. The desires yeah. arise in the heart of the loving devotee wow. to make Krishna happy with different devotional services that please him and that help the devotee to attain him. Wow. The awareness that Krishna is happy gives the devotee boundless bliss. Although he does not have his desires for personal happiness fulfilled. Wow. wow. That is devotion, no personal bliss. The happiness of the abode of love is the happiness of the object of that love. Baranga, <laughs> please, I pray with your sweet word, please. Oh, the, the happiness of Ashraya. The happiness, who is Ashraya, devotee who possessed love. And the abode of all love is Radhika. She is Ashraya. And the main focus in her heart and main focus of all her desires is to make the object of love, Krishna, Vishai, happy. And this is Prem. One pointed desire to make beloved desire. Wonderful thing I say. And when you go to Krishna, he said, you come to wrong place. <laughs> my wish, my goal is Radhika. <laughs> I'm the subject, and he's my object. <laughs> You're not the Chetan Chetamrit Adi Dila Furkandu. I appear, I want to show this in Krishna pastime, 
Nobody understands this, that my goal is Radhika. She sent you because her goal is, she take me. See, I come again as a Chaitanya to explain that. <coughs> Believe me, go to her, take her shelter. I, I become Dasi of Radhika. I become a student of Radhika to learn. Her love, I'm a foreigner to understand her love. Wow. Sorry. Nobody will go. <laughs> Okay. And this is the last month here, month last Sunday. So we all here that our welcoming to New Year has to be spiritually happy, right? Sunni. You all bless us that we can understand Radha And we can realize our whole mark and we start living in our whole oh. Understand my yeah.